Hi, hello guys, this is Bernie from Art Life Channel. Today I'm gonna teach you how to paint sunset in the mountains. But before I start my painting tutorial, let me show you my painting tutorial overview screenshot. First, I use plain white canvas. I will teach you how to paint blue sky, especially the blending of colors like dark to light light to dark i'm going to teach you the different kinds of brush strokes to create the sky mountains i will teach you how to create warmer sky to the hottest cloud the most important for the clouds is the light and shade i will teach you for that guys i will teach you the perspective of the mountains how to create the mountains from far to the very near of the mountains I will show you how to create or paint the basic group of trees that surround to the mountains and lastly I will show and teach you on how to paint ground and grasses far grasses and the very near grasses that's all for my painting tutorial overview guys now let's get started for the real tutorial just enjoy I will show you the different kinds of colors that I use for this painting I use titanium white lamp black tallow blue viridian green light green fluorescent green hansa yellow fluorescent yellow dixoxin purple brilliant red fluorescence lumi pink fluorescence orange yellow Rushina. and also you can see the list of colors below this video just scroll down a little bit and see the details now let's start I used 12 inches by 18 inches plain white canvas I made this canvas and also you can buy your own if you have lots of money in your pocket or maybe you can make your own canvas like what I did first I put a very light line I use I use tallow blue for my horizontal line to determine the position of my uh, or the boundary of my mountains and the grounds and then I paint directly tallow blue to the very very top of my canvas this is the blue sky at uh, the base color of the blue sky I use number 10 flat brush and also when you put a color of your sky the stroke it should be horizontal way and also if you blend the color you can apply the different types of strokes the diagonal the zigzag and also the horizontal strokes so that you can easily blend the color like what I did add sky blue color by mixing the blue and the white color and add this paint this to the canvas and blend also this color to the first color I paint the tallow blue and also apply the purple blue color at the very top of your canvas like what I did and it this will determine the darkest area of the sky and I add titanium white directly to the sky blue color and I blend the titanium white to the sky blue stroke of the brush it should be horizontal for a nicer effect of the clouds and also you can mix the purple and the blue and add this to the sky for the effect of the clouds the, the clouds that that, that not, does not uh, affect the light of the sun what we call this is the shade of the cloud you can also apply different types of brush strokes like what I did when you apply the shades of the clouds it should be center going going up mostly because are the area that are not affected for the lights of the sun I add more titanium white for the uh, lower portion of my sky in the right side of my canvas to represent the the sun area area of the sun or the rays of the sun blend this color again and also you can add more white colors now I start painting for the light rays of the sun I use fluorescent yellow the brush stroke it should be when you blend this color it should be horizontal way of your brush so that it will give a very nice effect to the skies also use this color for highlights of the clouds I use always fluorescence color for my painting like sunset and sunrise because these colors are very nice effect for that kind of uh, types of painting it will embossed your color more nicer effect when you pose your brush for applying the colors it should be lightly don't pose harder because it will damage the effect of the 
brush strokes. I add also Hansa yellow and blend to the fluorescent yellow. You can combine for that for the more darker yellow coming from the sun will give the good impact to your light rays of the sun and also you can add more white to the area where the sun is so that it will brighter than the other it will determine that the sun is here add and blend more white color to the sun area until it becomes brighter and now starting adding with the fluorescent lighter yellow orange by mixing the fluorescent yellow orange to the titanium white and blend the lighter uh, fluorescent lighter yellow orange to the rays of the sun so that it will create a nice effect directly or paint fluorescent yellow orange to the rays of the sky and when you blend this color it should be horizontal it will affect like a clouds the highlights of the clouds coming from the sun that directly the sun hit that cloud and then continue blending this color uh, remember guys you can apply this color surround to the sun area you can make this color as a reflection or brightness coming from the sun that reflect to the clouds and it will also create this the nice effect of the clouds and also I used a number six flat brush for this color so that it will create uh, smaller clouds small to big you can easily create that unlike number 10 brush you cannot create a smaller one clouds and you cannot create a blurry far clouds effect now I add a lighter yellow orange again the fluorescent, fluorescent yellow orange but lighter than the first one I put I put more titanium white to the fluorescent yellow orange so that it will create a lighter yellow orange and then I paint this color to the sky circular way or a vertical way to create the brightness area of the clouds and create the cotton like clouds uh, you can apply also this color to the nearer to the sun it will create more brightness reflection coming from the sun uh, that reflect to the clouds and also uh, it should be horizontal always so that it looks like a clouds and also follow what I did and continue adding this color the nearer of the sun above the suns and also uh, you can apply this color going left to the sky until you create a nicer clouds and create also a nicer effect to the sky and I add more Hansa yellow near to the sun it determined the very hottest area of the clouds and also it determined that it is very near to the sun and also blend this color to the fluorescent yellow add more fluorescent yellow orange uh, to the Hansa yellow and blend this color slightly posture brush not so hard so that it will create like what I created like what I paint when you create this one you, you can use like uh, making dots and also add more titanium white to the area of the sun so that it will more brighter reflection of the ray the sun also the audience can determine that the sun is there and that is the origin of the lights that's why I put a more titanium white to that area and I also I add more fluorescent yellow orange to the sky above the sun area so that it will create a clouds that reflect from the light of the sun and also when you add in clouds uh, you can directly apply the titanium white to the your canvas and blend the titanium white to the color like a fluorescent yellow orange and use a circular type of brush stroke so that it easily blend the color and create a smooth and very nice uh, brightness of a small cloud also you can create a group of clouds um, by using the circular circular type of brush stroke if you create the clouds it should be if the, the cloud is near from the sun it should be bright and also it's small than the other 
clouds if the cloud is far from the sun it looks like a big one because it near to the eyesight the person or the audience so it will and also it will maintain the balance of the sky the clouds and also the brightness add more blush and yellow orange above the sun area and blend this color to the and also continue adding this color from right to the left of your canvas and it should be again it should be horizontal horizontal way of your brush strokes and you apply this color and you cannot uh, color everything the put this color by selecting the area where you want to put the effect uh, the clouds effect continue adding the fluorescent yellow orange to the sky and also you can select the area where you want to paint this color and blend this color to the background and also to smoothening this color use your brush by blending the color to the other color directly to the canvas so that it will create another effects another another types of colors that give more beautify to the area of the sky and the clouds now i put the ocean loamy pink to the sky it should be far from the sun far from the brightness area of the sun so that this color is represent uh, that that clouds that are very far from the sun you can blend this color to the to the fluorescent yellow orange so that it will create the hotter area of the clouds to apply these colors you can select the area where you want to put this color and now add more highlight color to the clouds I add more loamy pink above the sun area and I blend this color to the yellow, fluorescent yellow orange so that it it will create a, a nice effect to the clouds I add more brighter color to the clouds using the titanium white and adding a little bit fluorescent yellow orange so that it can produce a off white continue adding this color and also you can select where you want to paint this color and maybe you can follow what I did I always blend this color so that it will fit to the other clouds that I painted earlier and uh, paint this color uh, below the dark area like a uh, loamy pink and also the yellow orange so that it will represent as a highlight of the clouds coming from the brightness of the sun more specific that these clouds is directly hit from the brightness of the sun um, you should also blend this color so that it will smooth and fit to the and you can paint this directly to the uh, of your canvas um, you can see the loamy pink and also the yellow orange you can put the highlight that that continue adding highlights and creating clouds by using titanium white to the and I directly paint titanium white to the sky and blend this color to the other color so that it will create another uh, effects it looks like a very nice clouds so that it will maintain the balance of the sun rays I continue painting and blending this color until I satisfy my clouds I add more Hansa yellow to the beside the sun rays uh, so that it will uh, represent as uh, the hottest area of the sun this is the very near to the sun and also I blend this color to the other color so that it it will smoother uh, it looks like a I add more titanium white to the area of the sun so that it will maintain the brightness and also I blend the titanium white to the Hansa yellow so that it will fit to each other I add more highlight color from the clouds around the area of the sun I'm using titanium white for my highlight. I continue painting for this color and I I always blend this color to the area where I selected to paint this color.
before you paint the purple one you can add the tallow blue so that it look good locking effect for the shades of the clouds I add more purple color to the behind the clouds so that it will represent as the shade of the clouds and also this area is not affected by the sun rays that's why uh, I put this one behind the clouds and continue adding this color and also I blend this color so that this color will fit to the highlight of the clouds and I can select the area where I want to paint but be sure that it will uh, also paint this color to the behind the clouds so that it will represent as the shades or the shadows of the clouds and also can give good effect to the clouds then if you're satisfied with your shades shades of the clouds you can add also more highlight that these are the clouds that are affected by the uh, highlight or rays of the sun and also blend this color to the to their shades I add more light uh, yellow orange fluorescent yellow orange to the clouds so that it will represent that there are lesser lights that affect this area and uh, unlike to the titanium white that there, that represent the more high light more lights coming from the sun that affected to that cloud and also you can select the area but be sure you can um, continue until you satisfy um, to your clouds I add more titanium white uh, nearer to the sun so that it will have more highlights coming from the sun I add more lighter purple bluish purple you can mix this color by mixing first the blue and the purple and add more uh, titanium white so, so that you can have this color and paint this color behind clouds so that it will represent as the shades or a little a, li a lesser lights that affected this area I add more highlights by mixing the yellow orange and titanium white I add more loamy pink to the area far a little bit to the yellow orange so that it this represents as the far clouds that laser affected lights coming from the sun and also you can put this next to the highlights of the clouds I add more shades of the clouds using the light purple you can you can create light purple by mixing the purple and titanium white and add a little bit tallow blue so that it will then paint this light purple at the back of the highlight color so that it will look this represent as the this area is not affected light rays of the sun uh, I use light purple that represent for a uh, reflection from the other uh, the other highlights I use a uh, darker or purple directly above there is no highlights that reflecting that area that's why it's dark dark shade of the clouds continue adding shade of the clouds just uh, like where where you want to paint or put this shade but be sure this shade is be, is in the back portion of the highlights then and you should always blend this color to the to the highlight so that it, it will always the same to the other clouds and it will maintain the balance of the softness of the clouds you can also add directly purple color to the uh, behind the uh, brightening area of the clouds and I continue adding this this represent as the shades and it will good looking for me you can follow what I paint so that uh, you can easily have your own I continue adding this color and blending to 
the area where I paint. Uh, this is the shades of the clouds. Area is not affected for the light rays of the coming from the sun. And you can also add more highlights to the clouds so that it uh, good effect and also it will determine the lightness of the clouds. Uh, you can use a titanium white or or maybe you can mix something different uh, like fluorescent yellow orange to the titanium white so that it will nicer uh, more nice effect will created. I continue adding this color and uh, blending to the area where I paint. I paint also the Lumi pink below the clouds. This area is uh, affected by light but not too many lights that hit the clouds. Uh, I upper portion I add more uh, fluorescent yellow rings using horizontal stroke on my brush then continue I continue adding the fluorescent yellow orange above the sun uh, or sun rays then I always blend this color behind also the or below portion of my clouds I add more loamy pink or fluorescent loamy pink Going to the left area of my canvas, uh, it will have a very nice effect for that area. And also, you can mix the loamy pink, a fluorescent loamy pink, to the fluorescent yellow orange, then blend that color. And I add more yellow, ansa yellow to the below the uh, the sun rays. And now I started painting the nearest mountain, and I pick the color purple blue you can mix the purple and tall blue so that you can get the purple blue then this is the base color for the for my mountains I continue painting my mountain using the base uh, purple blue for the base color The next mountain I paint is the very far mountain. I use the very very lighter purple blue. You can mix the purple and tallow blue adding more titanium white so that you can get the exact color for the lighter purple blue and then start painting to the very far mountain. The next mountain I paint is the middle mountains. I use the color tallow blue. Then I, or you can add a little bit purple to the tallow blue so that it will a nicer effect to the mountains for the middle mountains. I add more color to the nearest mountain, the lighter. A little bit lighter to the first one I put I paint to the nearest mountain. This are this to represent for the highlights of the mountain. And now I add another darker mountain to the middle. This is the when you look this mountain we're we're at the box so the the highlight of this mountain is in the front so we we cannot see the highlight because we are at the back of that mountain then that's why I I put the darker area of this the color of this mountain uh, I used uh, a darker tall blue I put I mixed the tall blue and lamp black continue painting for my mount then I add more uh, purple blue to the this is the to represent the shade and I'm starting also painting for the highlights of this nearest mountain I add more 
titanium white for my for the highlights of this mountain I mix the purple and the tallow blue and add more white so that it then continue adding highlight for my nearest mountain and also I started to paint the the shade of the mountain at the the left side I use the the purple and tallow blue mixed together adding a little bit lamp black for more darker and you can paint this color to the left side of the mountain this area is represent that this area is not affected for the reflection of coming from the clouds or coming from the uh, sun rays that's why it's still dark and unlike to the right side now I started painting for the trees at the bottom of the mountain to the the nearest mountain and I choose the color darker tall blue you can uh, add lamp block to your tall blue maybe 60% to 70% of tall blue and you can add 30% to 20% of lamp block to the tile blue so that you can get the exact color of what I have pick a little bigger flat brush or maybe you can choose uh, you can choose your number 10 or number 9 the brush work I use is like uh, you're like making that and then I done with my base color for my trees I started now for the ground color for the base color of my ground I use I choose the rosina color continue painting with the rosina color for the base, base color of my ground the brush stroke is horizontal way and also I use my number 10 flat brush for this base color I started to paint the leaves of my trees including the highlights of the trees I mix the color of viridian green or green and Hansa yellow to create the yellow green and started to paint my trees using my number 6 flat brush the brush stroke is like making that slightly post your brush don't post too much uh, follow what I did when you paint lighter green it should be upper portion of the trees middle of the trees this already area is reflected from the lights coming from the sun or reflected from the highlights of the clouds so I still a off light green color and continue painting blending for this leaf of trees use and the brush strokes you should always like making dots Continue painting for the leaves of the trees from left going to the right using the uh, Viridian green or you can add a little bit Hansa yellow or you can also add the fluorescent yellow uh, You can explore different kinds of cold color for your trees Also use the Roshina for the highlights of the trees because there are lots of kinds of trees and there are also different colors and different sizes and also I continue painting with my leaves of my trees and also the highlights and the same color Viridian Green and you can also mix the Viridian Green to the other color like Hansa yellow and fluorescent yellow for the highlights of the leaves of the trees I also blend the bottom of my trees to the base color of my ground so that it will it will make a smaller and also it looks like a shadows of the trees that affected to the ground And now I started adding highlights on my ground. I use the fluorescent yellow for my highlights of the ground. This is the first base highlight. And also I continue uh, blending this color to the ground so that it will fit to the ground to the rosina color. And uh, the stroke is horizontal way. and now I add Viridian Green to my ground I blend this color again 
and the stroke is horizontal like horizontal way and now I add fluorescent green to the ground and blend this color to the other color so that it will create a nicer effect to the ground and continue painting and continue blending I add more fluorescent green to my ground and I blend this ground to the other colors and this color is represent for the grasses of the ground you can also mix the fluorescent yellow to the titanium white so that it will help create the more lighter color and apply this color to the ground the upper portion of the ground and scatter this one you can scatter this color to the where the highlights are and then continue painting and now I add more darker color below the ground I pick the color darker purple can add lamp black to the purple color so that you can get this this darker color and now I paint the area where I want to put this color these are the color that represent the shading or the shadows of the grass and also these are the area that are not affected to the highlights or the lights of the sun the newer grass is the area where you can put more darker color than the father grasses I continue adding the dark color to the ground and I blend this color I also select the area where I want to paint this dark color but it should be going down the nearer grass is the more co dark color I paint the reason is that the new grasses are the more details that can be seen to our eyesight especially the shade and the shadows it is easy to add details of object if the if the base color of the object is dark and that's why I put lots of the dark area and for my newer grasses I add more Roshina color to the darker area and blend this color to that area and also this Roshina color can represent also the grasses of the ground that are not affected more lights coming from the sun and also reflection lights coming from the clouds uh, add more Roshina again going up to the yellow portion of the ground blend this color to the area where you can paint this color or you can also select the area where you want to put the Roshina color and continue painting add more highlight color by using fluorescent yellow or using Hansa yellow or you can mix together by blending the that color the two colors on the canvas on the ground area so that you can have your a nicer effect to your ground just like what I did continue painting for the highlights of the ground until you satisfy with your ground just follow what I did and observe the brush strokes that I used and also always blend the colors add more Hansa yellow to going to the left side of your canvas in the ground area and add fluorescent green and also the viridian green or if you have your green color uh, if you don't have your green color you can also mix the color yellow and blue so that you can produce another green color and you can select the area where you want to paint that green you should scatter that one so that it will have a nicer effect to your ground and 
the lighter green much better for the highlights of the ground add more viridian color to the going down or you can paint this viridian color above the Roshina color so that it you can make more grasses to that area continue adding viridian green always blend this color to the area where you want to paint um, you can all, always select the area where you want to paint the viridian green I add more highlight color to the to my ground using the fluorescent yellow and also you can also mix the color Hansa yellow and titanium white so that you can create the lighter yellow and you, I add more bigger darker color to the left side of my canvas this this dark area is to represent my uh, plants the newer plants of my painting to add the leaves of the darker area um, so that it will determine that is a plant there is a plant there then I choose the viridian green to the color of my leaves to create the leaves of the of the plants you can also uh, the brush stroke it, it likes you making that you pose the brush lightly so that you can create like what I created then continue painting for this color to the dark area then just you can just follow what I paint and the rest of the color viridia green I blend the color to the ground and now I started painting with my very nearest grasses I use the dark color first for my for the base color of my grasses I mix the lamp black and talu blue and then you can paint the color the brush stroke is like a zigzag and also I leave the a little white below the ground in between then leave a little uh, white uh, a little gap to the ground and grasses uh, the, sh the shade of the grasses and the grounds this a little white is for the highlight of my grasses can easily can easily uh, create the highlight if there is a little bit white in between the ground and the grasses and now I'll start painting for the grass using number two round brush uh, you can use the viridian green and the fluorescent green for this for the highlights of the brush and the brush stroke is going vertical stroke of the brush like what I did then white gap you can cover that a green color or the viridian green or you can also use the uh, fluorescent green for that to cover that white portion or the gap portion of between the ground and the gra the shade of the grass continue painting with the fluorescent green by using your number two or number one round brush and the and the stroke always going up then you should control to that brush you can pose that slightly you should not give too much force create the grasses then you can mix the fluorescent green to the Hansa yellow or the fluorescent yellow to create more highlight to that grass it should be more green than to yellow then continue painting from left to the right of your canvas you should maintain the brush strokes just observe what I did Explore the other color and continue painting for the grass until you satisfy for your grass. Uh, remember that when you creating the highlight of the grass, it should be upper portion of the of the shade area so that it will emboss the color of the grasses and it will easily identify that 
that that is a grasses or the near the nearest grasses of the paintings or the nearest grasses of the view I continue painting with my grasses I add more highlights color to the area of my grass that exposed to the sunlight or sun rays uh, to create my highlight color for my grass I use fluorescent yellow and I add small amount of titanium white to my fluorescent yellow so that it will more lighter I continue painting for my highlights I select the area where I want to paint more highlights that probably exposed from the highlight or more lights coming from the sun and reflected also from the clouds highlight and now I finish for my painting tutorial sunset in the mountains thank you so much so much so much guys for watching my full tutorial I hope you like it and please subscribe for more updates of my tutorial you can leave comments below this video guys and also like thank you for watching peace